Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number second of exercise 13.2. The question says, Rachel, an engineer student, was asked to make a model shaped like a cylinder with two cones attached at its two ends by using a thin aluminium sheet. The diameter of the model is 3 cm and its length is 12 cm. If each cone has a height of 2 cm, you have to find the volume of air contained in the model that Rachel made. So here, a model is made when a cylinder is attached with two cones. So if I make a diagram of this, it will look like this. One thing is important which we are which I have already discussed in the previous videos that if you want to solve the question based on mensuration, first of all you need to imagine that figure. If you are able to imagine that figure or you can say if you are able to make that 3D figure in your mind, the solution will become easy for you. Okay. Now this is a cylinder and two cones are attached to its both ends. So it figure the figure will look like this. Now the diameter of this figure is given to you as 3 centimeters. So if the here the diameter is 3 centimeter, same it will be here. Here also the diameter will be 3 centimeters. And the length of this model is given to you as 12 centimeter. So, so the complete length of this model will be 12 centimeters. Now, and the height of the cone is given to you as 2 centimeters. So obviously, this height is the perpendicular height is given to you as 2 centimeters. Uh, same it will be here also. It will be 2 centimeters. Now, you need to find the volume of this container. Now, if you want to find the volume of this container obviously the air will be present here here and here so if you want to find the volume of this container obviously you need to add the individual solid figures to find out the volume of this complete figure so if you want to find the volume of this complete figure that will be the volume of cone plus the volume of cylinder plus the volume of cone. So here the volume of this container will be equal to the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of cone. And there are two similar cones. So I, I can multiply the volume of one cone with two. Now if we know the formulas here. Now okay, you can easily solve these questions. Volume of the cylinder is pi r square h and the volume of the cone here is 1 upon 3 pi r square h. Now one thing is important. The radius or you can say the diameter is given to you as 3 centimeter or you can say the diameter of the cone and the diameter of the cylinder are equal. So in that case, the radius will also be equal in both the cases. But the height is not same for both figures. For cylinder, height will be this. And for cone, height will be this, which is different. So I have used different variable for height. Now, I have to find the radius. Radius will be the half of the diameter. And diameter is given to you as 3 centimeters. So radius obviously will be equal to 3 by 2 centimeters. Now this height is already given to you as 2 centimeters. And this height will be the complete height of this solid figure is 12 centimeters. And if you want to find the height of this, this cylinder that will be complete minus this as well as this. So this will be 2 plus 2 4. So I have to subtract 4 from 12 centimeters. So this height will be equals to 8 centimeters which is 
12 minus 4 centimeters. So here the height will be 8 centimeters. So if you want to solve this, uh, I can write this as pi r square h plus 2 by 3 pi r square h. Instead of solving this directly, what you can do is you can take pi r square common so that your calculation will become easier. In that case, you will have to solve this pi r square only once. So I can take this pi r square as common So inside the bracket. So from this, if pi r square is taken out, L h will remain inside the bracket plus 2 by 3. Now pi r square is taken out only h will remain inside the bracket. Further solving this, now I can substitute the values. The value of pi is 22 upon 7. The value of r here is 3 by 2. So this will be 3 by 2 is multiplied by 3 by 2. Now this height is 8, which is the height of the cylinder. Plus, this is 2 by 3. And the height of the cone is 2. Now, this can be cancelled 11 times. Further solving this, this will be 11 multiplied by 9 upon 7 multiplied by 2. This is 7 multiplied by 2. Inside the bracket, this can be written as 8 plus, this will be 4 upon 3. Now, if you want to solve this, First of all, you need to open the bracket and for opening the bracket, first of all, I need to solve inside the bracket, this term which is inside the bracket and this is because fraction and this is have this has to be added. For that, we have to take LCM. So this will be 11 multiplied by 9 upon 7 multiplied by 2 and this will be, the LCM will be 3 and this will be 24 plus 4. Now, further solving this, I'm solving it here. Now, further solving this value, which will be 11. Now, I can cancel this three times. So, this will be 11 into 3 is 33 multiplied by, in the denominator, this is 7 into 2 is 14. And this value will become 24 plus 4 is 28. Now this can be cancelled two times and 33 into 2 will be equal to 66 centimeter cube. The SN will be in cube because the question is uh, asking for the volume. So here the answer will be 66 centimeter cube. So the volume of this complete figure will be equal to 66 centimeter cube. So this is how you can solve this question. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.